yeah, we are, we are trying very hard not to have that issue um, at all. So, I, and I think we are doing a good job with that so far. Great. Um, my next question shifts focus entirely to um, transfer. I know the technical college system and the USG have the articulation agreement, so mm -hmm. we see lots of students transferring from one system into the next, um, and even some reverse transfers that come back. Yeah. Um, but do you think that the students who are transferring from West Georgia Technical College to a USG institution are generally prepared? Do you think that they're going into the, um, especially in math and English, into those courses at the USG, mm -hmm. prepared from their courses that they take here? Do you see a gap? Um, I don't ahead? know the data. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I wish you told me ahead of time I would have g uh, gathered that information. I don't know the data. I don't even know if we are following up with the students uh, who yeah. transfers to U UWG. Um, but I know we have articulation agreements mm -hmm. with not only UWG, but with other institutions um, of the USG system as well as some private colleges. Um, but thinking about because I teach at the university level also, one, one thing that really works well with our classroom setups is we have small groups. So mm -hmm. it, most of the time we do not um, have a class bigger than 25 or 32. Um, so I am, again, this is all what I believe um, that may impact the transfer students. If you are learning the basics of the, um, uh, courses, mm -hmm. uh, which generally that's what they get from us, the basic, um, either the introduction courses or the second uh, year courses. If you are getting that instruction in a small group, then I am assuming um, that they get individual attention and with the um, uh, resources that we, are, we provide them, um, they probably are getting the instruction, quality instruction. But when they go to a um, university like UWG or UGA mm -hmm. uh, from 6,000 students, or actually we have five campuses, so from 1,000 student buddy mm -hmm. moving into a 10,000 or 30,000, I am not sure how would that impact their connection to the university when they transfer. So I think there are many different variables that may impact mm -hmm. student success. But then again, as I said, I don't know what our student's success level is. Yeah, we need to do some research to see it some would be, yeah. data. It would be, yeah. See what's even being tracked. <laughs> exactly, but, but then we need to be very careful what we are tracking because right. uh, that being successful in a college is not only being successful in the classroom, but goes on mm -hmm. outside of classroom also impact the student connection Absolutely. to the university. So, yeah. um, but that would be something that, yeah, um, I may need to look into. I don't even think that we are tracking those students. So then it would probably be difficult to track because once they've moved on, mm -hmm. you know, they're not on campus anymore. I think so. Okay. I think so. Um, and before we started recording, we were talking um, a good bit about Move On When Ready and different mm -hmm. programs and that impact there. Um, and I want to move for my last question kind of beyond what the text that we read for class discussed, because of course Move On and Ready is brand new. Mm -hmm. um, but how do you think that Move On and Ready is affecting West Georgia Technical College in terms of enrollment, in mm -hmm. terms of who's in the classes? Do you see that um, the increased dual enrollment numbers as a positive for West Georgia Technical College? Do you see some challenges? Do you think it's a positive for the students, which I think it's a different question than mm -hmm. is it positive for the college. <laughs> right. Um, actually, our numbers have uh, doubled uh, with the move on when ready. Uh, I believe we had like somewhere between 400 students and now we have 782. So um, apparently uh, our high school um, recruiters are doing something right. Um, is this good for the college? I believe so. Um, as an educator, mm -hmm. um, I am not sure what we are doing with this. Okay, so let, let me let me start okay. from there. As an educator, um, I am not sure why we are trying to uh, remediate the issue. We know that there is a problem in the high school education. Why can't we fix that problem in the K through 12? Then moving those successful or smart students or ready students into college, why, that, why can't we provide more resources or more mm -hmm. quality courses in the high school so that they do experience their high school 
um, as it is. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's where I start first with the move on when ready. Uh, I think um, philosophically, I don't believe in the concept. Okay, but as a um, college administrator, that helps us a lot with the enrollment mm -hmm. numbers. You know, seven hundred students is is incredible when we have seven thousand students. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in terms of the, um, the, the, the the programs or the courses that students sign up, as I, as I said, you know, our classes are very small. So I think because they get this one-to-one um, -one with, the, mm -hmm. with the instructors, that is a plus that may not be the fact in a university setting, you know, mm -hmm. when they are taking an introductory to psychology class, let's say in, in UGA or UWG, they may end up in a group of 126 students. Yeah. Um, uh, but in, in with us, it is 24 students. Mm -hmm. So th that is probably a better setting to start with because they have much more support and, and much more attention. Um, so that's for, from an administrator position. From a, a, col a student position uh, perspective, I, I think it is uh, you know as 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 a mother of advanced academic student, you know, it really boosts their their self esteem. Mm -hmm. You know, they are in a college and they are not even uh, seventeen yet. Mm -hmm. So I am sure that is a positive thing for them. From a um, parent perspective, and and plus it prepares them for the university um, mm -hmm. setting. Um, from a parent perspective, that is the best thing, you know, you don't have to pay the tuition. Oh my God, you know, right. what a great gift from, uh, from uh, a parent perspective. Um, so I, I think we will, we, will, we will see the results. I would love to see what mm -hmm. their success level is. Right, and being once, in, uh, we're just at the tail end of year one, so. I mean, we've got one semester's worth of data, exactly. so we can't really claim success later on for Move On and Ready. Exactly. You mentioned your son having gone through the Advanced mm -hmm. Academy, which has been around for many years longer than just the right. Move On and Ready model. Um, and hopefully he sees his time in the Academy as successful and right. positive. Um, yeah, but, but, but I am not but, sure, again, you know, I am not sure why we are doing all of these things mm -hmm. rather than going into the real issue and trying to understand what is not working in K through 12, mm -hmm. than trying to push students into a different pipeline. Um, so we, we will see. Maybe it is the best best solution, but I am I am not sure. 